dainty. Our day's beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day's beginning, there's so much to do. Hey, my friends, I'm so glad you can join me again. This is day three. So we've had them three whole days. Count them with me. One, two, three. How many? Three. Because the last number that we count tells us how many. Well, I still have 20 caterpillars. They're all still doing phenomenally. And as you can see, look at it. They're getting bigger. And they're wiggling so much. They have a lot of legs and they just kind of clip each other and pull and clip and pull and all that silk in there, they're climbing on. They love to climb and they have so many legs to climb with. They've got a mouth and they're eating all the food at the bottom of the cup. Now their bowel movement looks the same color, doesn't it? Yeah, anytime you see a round looking ball that's the same color, that's their bowel movement. Because when we eat, it has to come out of our bodies as well. It's the same for caterpillars, it's a living thing. So as they get bigger, they're gonna have more silk to keep them safe from predators. Now, they're safe in this cup. No predator is gonna come get it. No bird is gonna come get them, right? But they don't know that, and their instincts tell them to create the silk to give them a bed to sleep in to give them a little shelter to hide in. And the silk also helps them crawl. What do you think they're gonna do? After they get bigger, of course. What was that? What do you think they're gonna do after they get bigger when all the food's gone? Do you think you figured it out? Well, I can't wait to find out. And how are we gonna get them from this cup into that, into that canopy net. What are we gonna have to do? You ready to find out with me? I'm excited. Oh, I wish we were in class so that we could do this in the classroom, don't you? I wish we were in class together. So instead, we'll just have to have the virtual classroom, right? That's how we learn. We can learn through, through this. Does anybody remember what I said comes first? in the life cycle of a butterfly. Do you remember? What comes first? Did you say egg? You're right, it's the egg. Hmm, what comes out of that egg? Do you remember? Do you remember what comes out of that egg? Let me hear you. Did you say caterpillar? Because we have caterpillars and they absolutely came out of eggs. Look at that. Oh. What happens next? We haven't talked about that much. Do you want to get a little sneak peek of what might happen to our caterpillars? What would happen next? Some of you know, because you've read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And it, it tells you what happens in the story. Do you remember? Do you know what comes next? Do you remember what that's called? In The Very Hungry Caterpillar, they call it a cocoon. Butterflies make a chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? Chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? That's a funny word. It's a home. It's a place for the caterpillar to shed its skin and create a new home. And inside the chrysalis is where the magic happens. And they change. Where do they change into? Do you remember what they changed into? What are we raising? We're not raising caterpillars, we're raising... What was that? Did you say butterflies? We're raising butterflies. So out of the chrysalis, 
What comes out of the chrysalis? Did you say butterfly? Does a butterfly come out of the chrysalis? It sure does. You are so smart, my friends. You guys are doing a great job. Now, what do butterflies eat? Wait a minute, we have to be careful because in the cups, it has their food already prepared for them. And when they're in a chrysalis, they don't need any food at all. But what are we gonna feed them when we put them in our canopy? What am I gonna need? Do you know what I'm gonna need? What do butterflies eat? What nutrients do they need for their bodies? I eat chicken and rice and broccoli. Do we feed them chicken, rice, and broccoli? What? We don't? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure we can feed them chicken and broccoli. What? We can't? Well, what can we feed them then? Could it be... Where do I see butterflies? It's springtime, remember? Spring? When the flowers bloom? That's when we see butterflies. What do you think they do in spring? Do you remember? When the flowers bloom, what what could they eat that's everywhere outside? You think it's the nectar inside those flowers? Oh yeah. Inside the flowers have food. And that's why they sent us these these wildflower seeds so that we can grow their seeds and grow flowers that they can eat. They or at least the nectar they can eat from them, right? The seeds are really teeny tiny. I can't wait to plant them. That's gonna be another video. But once the flowers grow, we can give them those flowers. Or, you know what I read? I read that you can slice an orange up into some slices and they'll drink the juice from oranges. Do you like oranges? I love oranges. They taste super sweet. Oh, I'm, I'm catching on to a pattern. They like sugar mixture at the bottom of their cups. They And they like sugar from fruit. Oh, wow. We can give them lots of different things. I think we can even give them slices of strawberries. They like watermelon. There's lots of different things we can give our butterflies. I can't wait to feed them. Can you do some research? What else can we feed our butterflies? We have to take care of them once they're in our canopy. How are we gonna take care of them? I think that's really important, is we gotta keep, keep them safe. That's our job, they're like our babies. That means your mommies and daddies have grandbabies that are butterflies. Isn't that silly? Now your mommies and daddies to butterflies. That's exciting. Oh, goodness. Well, thanks for tuning in, my friends. I love you very much. I'll see you next time.